uh, online today i'm going to explain uh, and give you some idea how you can use the epi info to collect the data for epidemiological investigation using your smartphone so what we are going to do now is actually we are going to learn how to create the form and then after that we are going to learn how to enter the data from epi info um, application so this is the epi info application so if you did not uh, download it you can download it and if you go to the um, this uh, particular button to load the specific form we are going to create it now so stay tuned and let us begin so ladies and gentlemen so the first of all you need to open your epi info you can proceed with the create form after you go to the create form we will have uh, this kind of uh, idea and we are going to proceed with the new project so you can click here new project and in this case, I'm going to uh, make a new project for Bond 1. So I'm going to put this project inside this uh, folder so that it uh, easily can be navigated after this. So I'm going to put it as a food Bond as my example. All right. And I'm going to explain the food Bond uh, investigation form. Right, and then uh, put some name food on and then i'm going to click okay oh i'm so sorry we did not allow to put any space bar here so i'm just going to uh, do it like that so after you click okay the epi info uh, software are going to generate a blank canvas and this blank canvas will be inserted with uh, typically uh, few questions uh, with regard to our investigation protocol so the first of all I'm going to insert the field investigation form right so because this is the title of the form I'm going to make it slightly bigger okay uh, because of the interest of time I'm not going to go into detail one by one but I'm just going to give you some idea about how you can execute this kind of uh, exercise so you can go into here text so inside the text you can insert the name um, respondent so you can insert the name of your respondent so this is very crucial because you want to collect the uh, name of those who are categorized under cases and control and then we can insert this uh, date and time date and time also is very critical uh, date and time because we want to observe the epic curve which is will be discussed this one later on okay and then um, i'm just going to highlight a few ideas only okay so the next one we are going to click the option so this is the example of the option i'm going to indicate whether it is case or control where the case we investigate uh, we write here uh, health status so we are going to indicate the first one as case and then another one will be control so for the case, usually we investigate those uh, personnel inside the hospital for the control, uh, people uh, at risk, exposed to the same thing, but did not feel ill yet. Okay, and then you can proceed with the yes and no. So yes and no, um, this is the idea of the uh, exposure or gender, uh, sorry, yes or no is exposure. Uh, did you drink the water? Okay, this is the example only we just want to know whether the respondent drink the water or not because we suspect there are some contamination inside the water uh, for example and then we can also click option here to indicate the gender so i'm not going to go um, all the specific details of the investigation but i'm just going to give you some idea so that all these questions can be observed uh, from your handphone Alright, so last but not least is the exposure. So the exposure are being categorized in the chat box. So I'm going to put here as um, uh, type of food, for example, rice, uh, chicken rice, for, sorry, uh, chicken rice, because we want to conduct the investigation, we need to know 
the type of food that available and uh, expose with those uh, people so we can put here some text uh, exposure status uh, to the food okay and then we can uh, proceed with the uh, other example the last one will be the another food that probably available bread for example okay because this is the the type of the food that may available all right so automatically the uh, mp info are going to save this uh, particular data or particular investigation form so that you can further enter the data here so if you go to the enter data so the uh, mp info will ask you a prompt question whether you want to publish it or not and automatically it is going to open the enter data uh, toolbox here and then it's permit you to enter the data accordingly however that is not our um, idea for this tutorial because we want to export this file or this form into our smartphone so that we can proceed with the investigation uh, using a smartphone because we are intend to mobilize into the another location or we want to share this form with our colleague for example okay so how to do that you go to the form just now and then uh, you have to navigate your original form that already been created and bear in mind also you uh, can also use the template available for you uh, inside the epi info if you want uh, but in this example, I'm going to use this Foodborne 1. Foodborne 1 is my investigation form that already been created just now. After opening it, okay, this is the form. So I'm going to save this form. Remember, don't save the page, but you must save the form. Okay, you go to the form, you right click over here, and then you may go to the save form as template. So you can name this one as food bond new okay so i'm going to click uh okay and after that the form already being saved here so if you're not sure where is your form you can just right click over this form and go to the open containing uh, folder so the form is being located here is my lsa ipm4 templates and form so you are going to share this xml document to your click or you can insert this uh, particular XML document in your Google Drive so that it's going to be updated with your colleague because your other colleague will be separated into two different or three different location once going to the hospital once going into the um, canteen uh, or the food premises and so on so after that we already uh, insert our foodborne XML file inside there um google drive all right so let us go into the part two so in the second part of my presentation i'm going to explain about how you can retrieve the information just now so you can go to the drive so my google drive is already synced with my um, google drive in my pc or in my macintosh so the next uh, process is going to our uh, google drive and navigate our file so you can just go to your google drive okay and then you can download your xml document just now you can also email those xml document to your colleague or to your uh, investigation team members so that they can use the same investigative form uh, to make it more standardized okay so this is the example of the data set here so i'm going to refresh a little bit uh, so that i may got the new uh, versions of my xml so my xml file should be available here so it's available here but it's not loaded very well so let us open back okay so this is our foodborne new dot xml so this is the uh, the file that i needed in my um from in my phone okay so to do that you can just go to our um, google drive here okay and then open our folder okay after that please navigate to your form just now 
so the form should be located here right i'm so sorry i'm not sure why it is not here okay it should be here already okay so i'm just going to refresh it over and over again so after i receive the file that already being uh, uploaded in my google drive i can further download it okay so you can just click over here for example and then you can click the download button so after you download it accordingly it will be uh, downloaded already inside your uh, file manager or document so something like this will appear and you can start begin uh, to use your form in the um, epi info software okay let me have a look again so this is our folder just now all right so this is my file so uh, i'm going to download it i'm very i'm very sorry for the delay because of the internet connection sometimes it's not good here all right so the next one i'm going to go to file manager so in my file manager you can see here uh, this is our data just now that already been created uh, using the ap info so what we need to do is actually we have to move this football new.xml into this folder you need to move this one into this folder so how to do that okay you can just click the option over here move to Okay, navigate accordingly. We can go to here, AP info, and then we can uh, put it inside the questionnaire and then click OK. So now the AP info already uh, inserted our questionnaire here. So this is our questionnaire, right? So to collect the samples or to collect the uh, respondent data, you have to go to our, uh, to this uh, AP info stat cal collect data and analyze apps. So you can just click the collect data here and then choose accordingly. In this case, food born new and then you can load. So after you click the load, you have the plus button signs over here to insert a new file name. So in this case, for example, ABC. So the date will be 12 February 2020 and then at uh, 11.30 so this is the case where I'm one of the team going to the hospital and then drinking the water or not I'm asking the patient the patient say that yes they are drinking the water so this patient is male and then the exposure status is chicken rice and then actually we have another one um, but I'm afraid the arrangement of the checkbox might not be very good so let's say uh, this person already used or already eat the chicken so it's there so we got already name respondent one and this is the name date and case of control is already being recorded here as case of control in this case i'm putting case just now is recorded as zero so our case is zero our control is uh, one so we can insert a second name uh, cde for example and then um, maybe it's the same time 2020 at 11.45 and then this is our control so our control perhaps this document already being shared to the other colleague in the uh, in the school for example and then that uh, guy or that uh, in inspector indicate that this is a control group and then they also eat the chicken uh, but the gender is different which is uh, female so after you click uh, save it's already there you see this is the first ID, this is the second ID. So when you finish up all these things, you can go to this create sync file, you see. So after you click the create sync file, they will ask you to set up for AP info 7 sync file password. So in this case, I'm just going to uh, put 1234. Okay, so the password is very important, especially if you want to protect the confidentiality of the information regarding the patient data. Okay, so the next part is actually you have to uh, import or you have to retrieve back those sync file to our epi info file. But I think I'm going to make that one in another video. So I hope you can enjoy this uh, tutorial and understand how you can collect your data using your smartphone 
by using the app info remember app info is a free format uh, it's a free apps and also it's a free um, applications available run for windows application only i'm using macintosh therefore i need to use the virtual box so remember the step is very simple you create the form you put the attributes and variables and after that you save the form into a specific format as a form xml file you locate those file and then you share those xml format file to your smartphone you can uh, either save this file with your click or you can put it inside your drive and then you can share it accordingly and then your click also can download it and use it straight away in our apps but remember to put this one inside our um, specific folder I make mean, repetitions the folder will be inside the question air here so when you install the app info you have this folder and then your question air must be put inside this folder and then if you create the sync file just now where I inserted two variable so this is my variables that we are going to discuss in the next future okay uh, that's all for this particular video i hope you find it very useful and find it very uh, interesting so for those who are new with my channel please don't forget to uh, subscribe click the like button and if you got any question related to the epidemiological investigation especially for environmental health professional please do comment in below link that's all guys. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy learning. Bye-bye.